Hey everyone, welcome back to the Jessing. So today we are going to back to my local school playground to do some detecting. I haven't been here for around a month, I think. A little over a month, but um sorry if you can't see me that well. It's really bright out. And it's just slightly cool, but it's mostly warm. And the best thing is that there is nobody here today, so we should be able to get some good stuff. I guess I will notify you if I find something cool. Well, See you later. Um, I'm going to do the little kids' playground first. Um, I got this signal here. It was right close to the end of the slide here, so it sounded like it was this, it was that bar. But then I noticed it was making a separate beep, and it was making a different beep than the bar. So. Um, I couldn't find it with my pinpointer at first, but I just flipped it out. It looks like a nice new penny. Let's see, the year. Um, 2015 D, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Alright, I will notify you guys whenever I find something else. Alright, just got another penny between these bars. Again, it was hard to tell if this actually existed, but I could tell there was like a middle signal. Because it was kind of separated, but yeah, he's a fly on me. Alright, here it is. Um, it's a memorial, and let me see the year 1974, so it's a copper one. Alright, well, if, if you're gonna collect copper pennies, the only way to profit from those really is to melt them into a bar and then sell them to some sort of copper manufacturing company. So, yeah. Alright, so I want to find Hi, y'all, check this out. So I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even need my detector for this. First, I just noticed this penny on top of the ground. 1985D, it says zinc. And then, a couple seconds later, can you see it? Uh, right there, do you see it? It's a nickel, pretty sure. Yeah, so it got a little spill. Let's see what the year is. It's 2002. Alright, let's check if there's anything else in the spill. I'll use my pinpointer first. Okay, um, I think that was it for the spill. I'll just check with the, oops. I'll just check with the big detector. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Oh, I haven't found anything else. Alrighty, y'all. So I haven't found this thing yet. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be something good. Because it is a sort of faint signal. But it's not that strong. But it is a big beep. You hear that? So we know it's in there somewhere. So I'm going to try to find it with the pinpointer. I have to do a little bit of digging. But I'm not hearing anything. So I'm gonna get the trowel and dig a little bit. See if it's there. Um, Alright, I'll just tell you if I find this thing. Probably gonna take too long to find well, it. Well, it's just a slightly deep memorial penny. I'm guessing it's copper. Let's see. Oh, 1976. Got a nice red tone to it. Oh, Alright. Might not find anything else, but of course I'll tell you if I do. See ya. Oops. Well, just about one foot from the previous hole. We just got another deep penny right here in the bottom of the hole. Sorry, the camera's a bit fady. I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm guessing it's a zinc because it feels corroded. That's what it sounded like. Try to get it in the better light here. Yeah, that's definitely a zinc because it's like slightly shiny and corroded in one part. So I can't tell the year, but doesn't really matter. Just a normal penny. So, All right, see you we'll later. Really strong signal under the swing. I'm now on the big kids' playground. And... 
That's what it sounds like. That is... Do I have another signal over here? I might, but... I'm focusing on this one now. So, let's get the pinpointer. And see what it is. Ah, the swing keeps swinging around me. It's annoying. Okay. I hate when I get a super strong signal and it's like super deep. That just doesn't make sense. Okay, I'll tell you when I guess find I'll tell you guys when to find this. Oh, thing. I literally had to dig a really deep hole and look at the bottom. It is literally just a Coke can right underneath the swing. And I've never gotten this signal before. So I guess I've missed it every single time. But maybe I thought it was just attacking the swing. But, um, alright, see if I tell you if I find anything else. I did actually find a penny, but before, but uh, there was a couple people there, so I didn't really want to record. But, so see ya. Alright, guys, so I just found this weird jewel thing. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's a real jewel. It could be plastic, but. Um, if you guys know what sort of thing this is, then just tell me in the comments, but, yeah, it's kind of cool. Alright, oh, see you later. we just got our biggest money yet. It's a dime. From 2001 and from Denver. Alright. See you later. Wanna find something All right. Well, it's been a long time since I found anything, um, except for this pencil right here, but... This is the last clip of the video. I'm just going to show you what I found. So, starting with these, found two pencil pieces. And, uh, I might keep the grip on that. Then, yeah, those are for the Eliantos collection. And then, I found two copper pennies, 74D and 76D. And then I found, um, five... Zinc pennies. Four, oh yeah, 1984. It's Philadelphia. 1985D. 1997D and 2015D. And then we have a mystery corroded one. And then... Uh, sorry, the camera's off. It's just a bit weird. Then we found a nickel from... 2002, I believe. Denver. Then we got two dimes, a couple of these things I didn't film, um, I got 1989D and 2001D, so a lot of Denver stuff, and then I got this little leather button right here that I didn't film, um, it's got like a plastic end on it, that's pretty cool, and then found this mystery jewel thing. Let me try to focus on it here. Hold on. Alright. Okay. Yeah, this is the mystery jewel thing. If you know what it is, then just tell me in the comments below. Because I have no idea, but it's still cool. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed the hunt. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.